Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Huawei P9 Lite on the left versus the uh, new phone from Oppo, which is the Oppo F1s. These two phones are uh, pretty close when it comes to price. Uh, the this one is a little bit cheaper, $250 to $60, and this one costs around uh, $290, $300. So pretty close. Let's just boot them up at the same time and see which one is faster speed-wise. So. I have the uh, 2GB RAM model of the P9 Lite here, which is uh, available in the market, you know, 3GB RAM model, you cannot get that. Well here, the Oppo F1 uh, S comes with 3GB RAM, so I will see about the multitasking, and you can see it's faster than the P9 Lite when it comes to booting up. I'm just going to quickly unlock this one. So, also we have a bigger display here, which is 5.5 inch, and this one is having 5.2 inch. And uh, the difference is, of course, also in the resolution. This is 1080p, this is 720p. So, bigger size, but 720p, smaller size, but 1080p. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if we have anything open in the background. You can see everything is closed. And both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, so... Also worth mentioning is that P9 Lite is coming with Marshmallow while the uh, Oppo F1s is coming with uh, the Lollipop. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, get started with the first basic app we have, Phone Dollar. Here we go. And you can see that uh, both were pretty fast. Again, you guys are the judge here. So let me just go out and load something else. Let's check calculator. See, pretty equal. Settings. I think that was a little bit faster on the Oppo F1s. Let's so go back and check out a game, uh, which is Subway Surfer. Let's see here. And this one is having a MediaTek chipset. And here we have a Kirin 650, of course, Huawei's homegrown chipset. So see the loading times. So faster on the Oppo F, uh, I mean the Huawei P9 Lite, and a little bit late on the Oppo F1s. Next we have WhatsApp, and that was uh, just a tiny bit quicker on the Oppo F1s. Uh, then we got Viber, again tiny faster, tiny bit faster on the P9 Lite. Let's check out IMDb. I think both are pretty equal, you know, so let's just go back and check out Instagram. Definitely the uh, P9 Lite is faster, so let's uh, go back and check out the uh, camera, see which one can uh, bring that one faster. So we do have the icons on the home screen, here we go. And the Oppo F1s is uh, faster here. So that was our app's opening test. Let's move on towards the browser. So I'm going to be checking out Google Chrome on uh, both phones. So let's just uh, clear out all the history here, first of all. Okay, so first off, we got WBE.com. Let's see here which one will be faster. And uh, you can see that the uh, P9 Lite first one to come to the website. Can it finish? Let's see here, both are at the end, and the P9 Lite, yes, it finishes off earlier, and the Oppo F1s is still taking some time, it's uh, almost finished, and now it's finished, so you can see that scrolling is smooth on both phones, again, they're not going to lag with this stuff, and you can also zoom in, uh, zoom in and out without any delay, which is good, so... Uh, moving on uh, to the next one, which is going to be gsmarena.com. Let's go. Uh, tech website we have. And let's see here. And again, the P9 Lite finishes off first. So 2 0 victory, easy win there for the P9 Lite. So let's go back and do the multitasking test and see if we have any advantage with the, with the F1S in terms of multitasking or not. So... Um, let's see here, phone dialer, 
Hmm. Let's go back and open calculator. You can see so far. Um, no, I think the P9 Lite is uh, starting to refresh the applications. So we're just going to skip and move on towards a game, uh, which is the Subway Surfer, and which got refreshed on both devices. Okay, interesting stuff. If you get the 3 GB RAM variant of the P9 Lite, I can assure you that you're not going to be having any refresh. You know, if you guys remember my older speed test with the white 3 GB RAM model, that was just insane. But you can see that the uh, they're doing some great job with some normal applications, both of them. Um, let's uh, open uh, the uh, second game, I think. No, we didn't open any second game, so we're going to go ahead and check out Viber. And uh, seems like the Viber got refreshed with the P9 Lite, so uh, still a little bit better multitasking with the F1S. Um, lastly, if we check out the latest Google Chrome, which is still in the memory, let's see if the P9 Lite can bring that one up. Yes. Okay, no problem with that. Let's see here. We missed one application, Instagram. Let's uh, check that one out. Okay, so yeah, again, uh, doesn't matter. I think there's uh, like really less advantage of uh, having extra RAM on the uh, Oppo F1s at least in this video. Um, the uh, the P9 Lite again. If you get the 3 GB RAM model, that's best. But most probably you you should be able to get this one 2 GB RAM model. 3 GB RAM model is not available uh, everywhere. So yeah. So lastly, we're gonna be doing a fingerprint sensor test here. So both phones have zero animation. You know when you unlock phone. So uh, we can expect them to be pretty similar. So let's see here. Okay, let's try one more time. Again. So you can see pretty similar overall, uh, zero animation results in really fast fingerprint sensor. Uh, so yeah, that just wraps up this whole speed test video. Uh, both phones are pretty decent with the performance and also pretty uh, decent with the RAM management uh, apart from the games and some of the few uh, heavy applications. Uh, they should be able to give you good uh, experience, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, we're not going to use um, like eight to nine apps at the same time. So yeah, they're nice. Obviously, there's going to be another comparison where we'll talk about everything like build quality, camera, which will help you to further uh, take a good decision which one you have to buy. And that video will come out really soon. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.